Welcome! I'm Tamara Blossom with tamarablossom.com and today I want to talk about self-care and how and why. Why is it so important, especially for mothers? Um, you've always, you've heard I'm sure when you're on a plane that you should always put the mask on your child before you put the mask on yourself. I wonder how many mothers would actually do that because we are so ingrained in our society to always take care of the child first and I don't know if you feel the same way, but there's a sense of guilt in me when I leave my child to go do something for myself. And it's like, why do I feel that way? You know, I think it's because agreement in being a, a domesticated woman in the household to always take care of everyone else. And like, so I saw my mother do that. I saw my, my mother serve my father and us children. Like the only time I remember her doing any self-care was... Um, in the evenings when we'd all sit on the couch and watch a movie, I'd see her on the floor doing some yoga stretching, which I didn't know what that was at the time. I grew up very censored. Mostly, for 99% of the time, what I saw a mother do was she cooks and cleans and does everything for everyone else, and she's always, like, she's never relaxing and taking pleasure to herself. Like, I, I didn't see that from my, from my experience. So whatever, I don't know what your experience of your mother was, and um, I think it is changing. More and more women are opening to this this sort of goddess awakening. Something changes in a woman when she is she's feeling like she has the time to smell the flowers. She has the time to take a nice bath. She has the time to take a stretch. Oh. The world will be there when she comes back. And I think it's that that time she takes to herself. What is she going to do with that time? So here's the other piece. I have a friend, um, and this has happened already speaking to a bunch of women. They're like, well, I know I need to take care of myself more, but I don't really know what to do. So that's where I feel my calling is coming out. I feel like I've been figuring out what to do for myself and how to take care of myself so that I feel that all realms of me, all parts and aspects of me get taken care of so I'm not leaving parts out. Because in the beginning, I was very body oriented. It was all about uh, yoga and nutrition and then it started to be more dance, which I say the, the switch that happened there was I started to channel my expression more. Because yoga is amazing, and I don't stop doing yoga, but I also need to express and just let the freedom go. And then the sound healing came into my life. So I started sound and the vocalizing, that's amazing. And then the sexual healing came to my life, and the tantra, and the learning how to own my emotions, and learning how to communicate in the relationship, and all these pieces. Journaling, smudging, there's like so much that we can be doing, right? Like calling in soul pieces of ourselves, you know, getting in touch with the, someone who does some shamanic journeys. And so there's so many parts. It is so important that we take the time and you literally have to schedule it in. Um, now that I'm a mom, I realize that the schedule is so important. It's so important. So how do you do that? If you sit down with your partner or with your schedule book when can I fit this in and then you know in exchange give them the self time so both my partner and I have our time one of us gets our self time and he's with our daughter and then I take the daughter and he has his self time and then and then when my self time comes I must step in and I must show up to do that for myself and not have all the other things like often I, I'll go into my room and I'm like oh it's my self time like, oh it's messy in here I should clean up first ah uh, you know what maybe just throw a towel on top of your mess or something don't clean when it's your self time do that after when you're feeling amazing and you're like wow this is so much fun now I promise you I promise you if you take time to connect with yourself and especially connecting with the sacred feminine space there's just something unnameable. For me, it's like an innocent joy coupled with 
the power of the the warrior and the wise woman and the wild woman and passionate woman and all these parts but very connected to this innocence as well and this beauty I feel so grateful that I found the path of self-care and self-love I I don't know what my life would be like without it and sure I'm not perfect it's taken me a while to get here and it's taken me a while to like implement the, the tools that I've picked up along the way so be, be gentle with yourself so as much as I'm saying schedule it and do it be gentle with yourself when you don't because you don't want to pile up more frustration or more self-loathing or self-destructive self-sabotage so just let you know okay I know I'm procrastinating or oh, okay I know I, I haven't been taking care of myself and accept that part of you like hey you know what there's a part of me that is really afraid to get vulnerable and really be intimate with myself and wants to constantly distract myself so accept that okay and having a child is probably the easiest distraction to have and I go there all the time like oh I gotta take care of ocean I gotta take care of ocean I gotta she, she needs me she needs me I gotta make her food I gotta do that when really like yeah, often she does need me. Of course she needs me. She's two years old. But there are also times when I realize, hey, I think I could just go lay down right now and she'll be okay. I could just lay down horizontal because that's my, during the day, if I'm like, oh my gosh, something like I'm tired or I'm something, uh, there's usually a couple things to do. I either shake if I need to release emotion, like if I'm getting frustrated and I feel like yelling or screaming, then I just go and shake. Um, and if I just need a reset button, I just go lay down, horizontal, you know, shavasana, and just breathe. And if I'm, it's my time when I'm with Ocean, she'll just, she'll probably just walk up to me and climb on me and whatever, but I just let it happen and just enjoy the, the horizontal and, and actually as well, um, I'm sure you figured this out, but this is really fun. I call it Mama Ocean time, uh, so it's when I grab her and we go and I put her on the bed or jump on the bed with her and, and I look in her eyes and like, look at my eyes, look at my eyes and um, I speak Czech to her though so I don't say eyes, I say ochi and then um, and then I tickle her and I snuggle and I like, you know do all the fun things and I try to do that at least once a day as a regular routine so that she feels connected and that attention so just like I take time to connect with myself I should be doing, we could be, we can be doing the same with others, the, the closest people to us. So taking time to connect with your children one-on-one -on -one, and then with your partner. Hopefully also you have that schedule in and that's something that um, my partner and I um, schedule in, in the evenings. Um, let go of TV, letting go of movies. Once in a while we can watch a movie. I'm thinking every like couple of months or something. But really, movies are a drain in energy and the imprint of the images stay in your brain for however long and just fill my mind with stuff I don't need and it's not making me grow. So I like movies that make me grow. Um, I'm getting on a bit of a tangent here, but anyways, coming around with taking care of yourself so that you can be fully um, embodied and, and enjoy and you step into your, the rest of your life and interact on all of the little daily things. So with this, I feel it's time for me to go do some dancing and eat some breakfast. So much love to you all. This is just a reminder. I know you already know this stuff, but it's just a reminder because I need to be reminded. And if I need to be reminded, I'm sure we all need to be reminded because we're all connected and we all have the same monkey brain that likes to jump around and think that it needs to be on Facebook or checking my email right now. Why am I checking my email? So I'm excited about our evolution and if we take time to care and nurture ourselves, what might our children learn from us? And then what might they do for the next generation? I think that there could be some really beautiful caring that evolves self-care on our body also relates to carrying the earth and 
nurturing mama, such a mama. So, thank you for tuning in to Tomorrow Blossom. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Blossom forth into more love.